Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the solid blue and pink trunks. Weighing 97 and one quarter pounds, originally from the streets of Sweden. His professional record includes 34 consecutive losses, including 37 permabans. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the disputed, the defeated, heavyweight inting champion of the world, Bald Simon the Baucephapest Tyson. And he has a new pick. He's playing set top lethality. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me today for today's VOD review. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the landing phase. Hey, quickly guys, if you want to see me absolutely demolish a Korean convenience store with the mukbang, um, I got a new channel out. I'll put a link down in the description below. I just go to a store in Korea and eat the entire convenience store. So if you're looking for that, I'm going to put a link in the description down below on screen. Enjoy. In all seriousness, gentlemen, jumping onto the rift. He's actually been doing very well with this new pick. So he goes a uh, little bit of a niche build. It's like a Lethality Halo Blade set setup. It's not mathem mathematically correct set. It's a little bit different, but he's actually having good success with it. Um, sets a champion. Of course, there's that 2000 LP Chinese top lane that they hit rank one on the super server with set. It's a great champion in the top lane. A lot of people don't, uh, I guess they don't, they underestimate the damages of this champion. Baus runs him Lethality and just punches people out. It's with his new haircut and Looks like a little bit of facial hair coming. A little bit of facial hair coming in. It's pretty intimidating. I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully you can see he just uses that E and then uses the hail of blades and just <clears throat> fists them. Oh, good e from him. Good e. Unfortunately here, uh, he's into a Jace with Phase Rush, which is like an impossible matchup. I don't know how he's gonna win it. I would be super surprised if he does. And um I'm a little bit scared personally. Me and the Baos, we have beef now means old Simon. Um, there may be some type of challenge, potentially in the boxing ring, potentially on the rift coming up, um, where the two heavyweight inting champs battle it out. As what a damn trade from Simon. He. Oh, I could have won that. He could have won that. That was a, that was a free kill. He knows it is a free kill. The cannon minion getting low triggered him, and then it one, two, it rewired his brain where he. One, two, Three, four, <laughs> oh shit. Quick maths. Uh, yeah, it's a good pick. It's definitely one of his highest win rate picks of a ch new champion that he picks up. Let's yeah, just, it let's word it like that. Why am I um, and I do have the utmost respect for Bals. I know, I know I take the piss and I joke around, but you know, I look up to him. He's, uh, he's one of the boys. He's one of the, he, he's one of, I, I, He's one, he, he's one of the boys. He's my friend. He was my friend. I don't think he likes I don't think he likes me. I think he hates me. Sometimes, in order for you to become better friends, you first need to become enemies. I think Darth Vader once said that. Maybe. I never watched Star Wars myself. Don't really know. Star Wars is too... I'm not a Star Wars hater. But like, this is gonna be a hard game. I don't understand where I'm meant to start. Like the numbers aren't in order. Some of the CGI from the old movies look like straight out of a grade ten, like art project. I don't know, man. I should sit down and really watch it, but I I just feel stuck, and I have no one to watch it with. You guys wanted to maybe watch it with me sometime, and we could see. Um, we've got the set with the cull. Is this a pool party set skin? Absolutely shredded this champ. Hasn't really seen too much success in pro play. Got played a lot mid lane actually, and then support. Hasn't really been picked top. Do I think it's an underrated champion that could be played? Yes, I actually think set's very strong. I just think that people don't know the matchups and don't know how to use them correctly. Here, Do I think this lethality build is gonna see any type of success in pro play? No, not really. I do think the the tanky set setup with like the stride breaker or gore drink into like sterax and like really tankiness is really is, is solid. Very good for a team that needs to like kind of disengage something like a cannon or something. Um, plenty of other picks I could probably think of. Uh, spoiler alert! I'm about to spoil uh, world's quarters. You guys a second. Uh, Faker absolutely demolished last night. I cried for at least 20 minutes. I cried more last night after seeing my best friend role model faker than when my first wife divorced me and took the kids 
and my golden retriever dog, Rivers. <laughs> I cried, because I just love seeing Faker, an old man like myself. Miles, why are we not banning these people? Being able to... Everyone was telling me, dude, Scout is the best mid of the tournament. He's MVP of the LPL. Nobody's come close to him. He outlanes Knight. And then Faker came in and I spanked him. So Had different sides of the matchups. I uh, always was first to the objective. Was always first to move, helping his jungler. And owner gapped Kanavi. But people look at that as an owner gap. It was actually a Faker gap if you were smart looking at the game like I do. Oh, this is a really good gank by Jarvan. He lands W. We're absolutely chilling. Ultimate. He slowed. Not really. Face rush. And all three deaths to Iron Simon up in the top lane here. Not looking quite good. I thought that might have been a little bit of a comeback, but it's all right. We're juicing up a bounty into the, into the Jace. Sometimes juicing bounties is not that bad. Uh, it's definitely... Look. The Baus... His playstyle, his methodology has fallen off because of the right reducing plates, um, the bounty system being slightly changed, um, the debt, like that there's been so many small changes to him and his playstyle, especially on the Scion, um, that has made him become uh, a master tier player. Apologies, but that's just what I'm seeing. Um, it, it's, it's hard for him. He can hit Challenger. We have seen that. Um, but I just... I'm, I, I'm not sure if his best climbing days are maybe behind him. Whilst mine, people yeah, say, are like uh, simply in front of me. And this matchup won't get any better, so I reckon the best move is to roam on the bot lane. And the bot lane is Thresh, Ezreal, Echo. You actually can't roam. There's no good roams here because they're too mobile. Bang, bang. Flash double auto, maybe? Can't do it. He's trying to cook. Down. He's trying to cook up a lot. Yep. How to dodge it. He has to dodge the QE. Nice. He can solo kill. He can solo kill. He's going to go for it. He's ult. This is, this is going to be beautiful. This is going to be absolutely beautiful. Here we go. Show me, Simon. Show me it. He's going to go for it. Go for it now. Now. Yes, bang, bang, ult, slam, dunk, shut down. Tap him like that. Just tap him like that. Slam your body on top of his, bro. Oh. And yeah, I am starting that new channel, so if you wanted to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Indoor Boy. I like my favorite YouTube is Outdoor Boy. Outdoor Boys. And I'm pretty much the opposite of him, because I don't know how to start a fire, so I'm the Indoor Boy. But I want to get outdoors more, so I'm going to try it. And I just like making content and talking to, to, to you guys and looking at myself. So I'm going to drop by and sub or just give me suggestions for type of content. Thinking I might try and go out camping. To be honest, if I do a camping vlog in, in Australia, I'll probably get eaten by several animals. But it'd be good content. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want me to do. Is there anything you need? It's just a for fun channel, to be honest. My main, uh, my main channels on YouTube, I got Midbeast. This one, Reviews, Midbeast 2, League Gameplay. But I just wanted a new channel just for other, like, IRL stuff. There goes the Flash combo. I only have that once every five minutes. No Flash, it's fucking yeah. rough. It's gonna be really rough for you. Good combo, there you go. And he goes Eclipse Rush, by the way, and you'll see why when he builds it. It's a really good item for set, because you just insta proc the shield, and nobody can really trade on you. Good dodge, good dodge, good dodge. CSing is not what I would normally typically see for the Bows, but melee into ranged into a really bad matchup like this is, is almost impossible for him to play out. We're going to have to forgive the old Bowsy. As I do respect him shaving his head. He did make the bet and he did promise us. Oh my god, he's going to get another salt. Imagine if I ulti there. Oh. Can he get in range for the ult? You dodged. Ultimate, 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 let's go! Ah, oh, fuck. Close. That was so close. But yet so far.
We'll TP back in. Me and the Bows have talked. We have spoken since um, the unfortunate ranked one secret account has was was shown. We have we have spoken. Can't say whether we're on good terms or not, but we're on we're, we're working things out. And things will be wor worked out hopefully. I might have to take one of his fully wounded up punches at TwitchCon into the jaw. If I survive it, we're friends again. There's maybe something we're brewing. Who knows? He has Eclipse. He's so ahead of me. Yeah. Don't fight until you have Mythic. Guaranteed. Or you get a Jarvan gank. That's the rules. I don't make the rules, but I just made them. Please don't break them. Okay. Yep. Uh, try and get the cannon, bro. Nice. We'll, we'll take that as a win. A fed Jace is nothing to Shut down. not be worried about because I saw what uh, Zayus did last night on the Jace and it was probably the best Jace performance I've ever seen in my entire life. It's how, when I dream of me playing Jace, how I play it. And then I get into the game and I feel drunk. Maybe I am drunk. Maybe I'm alcoholic. I don't know. But I feel also specifically drunk when I play champions like Jace, like Yasuo, like Kiana. Feel the effects even. Echo played the counter match. I'm going to the Syndra. I think Echo mid right now is underrated, gents. If you want some secret little power, Echo mid. Uh... Xiaolei Ban, the Chinese Echo, is the guy to watch if you're looking for VODs. It's one of the best champs to consistently play in low elos. Just learn how to play the first 5-10 minutes, that's the only awkward part. And then after that, smooth sailing to uh, Master Tier, pretty much. You know how to click. Bowsy just getting perma sniped out. You can't afford to do this, he needs to steal caps. He needs to try to get himself a little bit better situated here. So I can play the game. I think I, I I don't think we want to do this. I don't think we want to do this. Just give it, let it shove back in. Oh my god! One level and a little bit down. I reckon he looks good with his new haircut, chat. Thoughts? He has a good head shape. It's a great head. Oh. Okay, it's a disaster. Never mind, still can't play. There will be a time in this game where he's able to contest. I don't know when it is, but I hope it's soon. I'm gonna have to come off his bot lane, but he has Hymas Syndra Rakan, which is just I just don't like the sounding of that bot side. Oh my lord. Ezreal's 10 CS per minute, 3 0. So, Jace. I'm on, okay. I don't understand how I can ban. We ban 100, 100 people every single day. How, where are they coming from? How can we ban 100 people every day and not run out of viewers? This is ridiculous. Where are they coming from? One thing I notice on Twitch, and I am a streamer myself that has had success. Not successful at the moment, but I, I used to get a few viewers. When your Twitch chat gets over a certain amount of viewers, it becomes completely degenerate. You can't it, reading it just causes you mental problems, health problems. Are they seriously. going on all the count and type the exact same? Message the chillest amount of, of viewers on Twitch is oh, like about one k. Chat's fast enough where you have new things coming in, and you can kind of control the vibe. At like five to ten thousand, everyone just starts spamming the same. Thing and everybody just gets on a bandwagon where it's like it just it becomes like its own little living creature of degeneracy i can't it's so hard to keep up with it we do get the eclipse i was talking about this now when we get the mythic we can play the game he's double my gold i can't play the game for shit i used to risk my neck in the pit we have teleport we have teleport we have teleport and they're thinking about contesting he might even 
And it's the Valse we're talking about. We're not TPing. We are going for side lane. We are going for tower. Bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Oh, we could TP. Yes, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. If they can... Yes, 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 yes. Kill this guy. Kill this guy. Kill, uh, kill, kill him. Yep. You see how freaking fast he is? Into the ult. Bang, bang, W. We needed to kill the Jace there for the bounty. This is a disaster. Bowsy, please, man. Please. Bill caps completed. Okay, zooming out of base, one and seven. Uh, I've seen crazier comebacks. Let's just say that. Enemy Jace is eight and one with 10 CS per minute. What can an EU West Jace do? Is it as good as Korea Jace? Is it as good as NA Jace? We're about to find out. North America, of course, has been knocked out of worlds. Um, made it further than EU, believe it or not. I think personally, I don't think the gap is closing, gents, unfortunately. I hate to say it, but like, for some reason, it doesn't matter how much of a lead or how good these Western teams get. The Chinese and Korean teams, especially Chinese, around... The, 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 the key thing in these games is drafting and then also mid-game team fighting around objectives like the dragon, the mid-wave setup, and the baron setup. And the way that the Chinese teams team fight around there is pinpoint perfect. They pull baron at 20 minutes instantly. Okay. Solid by 80k. Uh, they, they just... And they know when to turn. They know when to bait. There's no hesitation. There's pure confidence in their play. The EU and the NA teams just seem hesitant. It's not even that they don't know what to do. It's just that they don't work as a cohesive unit. And then they hesitate on the play, and that's enough for these better teams to just instantly one-shot and wipe them, and the game's over. Happens every single year, every single Worlds, I swear to God. I have a theory, and I don't want to, like, make any cons conspiracy theories, but I think the Chinese... Tencent, Chinese Riot, own right. I think the Chinese teams may have access in a secret practice tool where they're able to sandbox the teams, where they're able to make all the teams late game builds and just simulate the Baron fight. And then as soon as it's done, they hit rewind, like Echo Alt, rewind, and they keep playing it different ways, different ways, different ways, over and over and over, and they get it perfect. Because it just seems like they play it perfect every time and they all know exactly what to do. Whilst in NA or EU, I swear to God, the only way they get practice is by doing scrims. And out of five scrim blocks, they probably get those fights like, that they, they probably only get those fights once a game, twice a game. If that, and on weird comp, like, I am a very big conspiracy theorist when it comes to, I think that they have a sandbox mode unreleased that they're helping their teams with. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I've got to say about that. And I don't know if you, some of you guys believe me, but this is just the old middle beans, probably making up complete fibs as we get a kill onto this... We get a support kill, and we're going to be able to take it. Well, reset. Okay. The only hope for this team is Heimer. And a scaling Syndra, EU Syndra. And a 2 and 9 Baus. Alright. I'm wondering what the next item is. Even about in a tower. I have seen him build the Oxium Arc, the item that you get your ultimate up faster. I have seen him build that, but... I'll be honest, I haven't watched many late games, or many games of this strategy at all, so it's all kind of fresh and new to me as I try and break it down and work it out. From what I can see, it's his similar style of getting behind early, strategically. And then the enemy team misplays with bounties and he wins. It's just the CS. If he was like 220 CS here, I, I, I would be liking it. But it's just, he's down too much CS in this type of matchup. 
or in this type of game. If he really does want to climb a challenger with it, I think he just needs a little bit more of that, uh, a little bit more of that power through the CS and the creeps. All right, nice pick here. Auto, auto, E, auto, auto. Alt, W. He should go, oh my God. He's actually baiting really well here. Forces the echo wall. The Jace, the Jace is gonna die. Auto, auto. Beautiful positioning, bang, pow. Alley-oop. Cha-ching! That is what we're talking Demon about. Performance. Demon performance. Demon. He says that in the bedroom? Possibly. I don't want to think about it, but maybe I do. Uh, that was a, such a good fight. You can see how much damage output he's getting, how much soaking he was getting through the W, through his passive. Now he is just going to boom. Boom, boom, bang, pow. The great split pushing, pushing champion. 2700 gold and the Baron Nashor. And he does go for the Axiom Oxymark into more lethality. Let's go, Armor Pen. And he'll legitimately one-shot people now. I actually think he's outscaled the Jace, believe it or not. True. could I play this this mid lane? Yes. You can still play set mid. There was a reason it was mid lane number one for a while. Because we're going to have a little bit of a... Angle on this fight as they're stuck in the pit. But the Bows is going around. The question is, can he get an ultimate? speed he's gonna be able to get it he's just gonna e auto ults the jace you can see how annoying the jace is because he just baseballs the w out of the way as they clutch the thresh looking like a brilliant fight here looking for the angle now on the ezreal should be able to take down the ch oh my god no e auto and do you see the backup do you see the eclipse oh Oopsie doozy. You see that eclipse? How nice. And even the ultimate is almost back up as well. Your team has destroyed a turret. Ooh. Going for the anti heal? I don't really like it. Why is we go anti heal? Does he just like Mortal Reminder stats? Does he like the coloring? Does he like the bow? I'm not sure. The gold efficient? Am I, something, am I missing something? Maybe it's just because it's cheap. I think full five is maybe back for that fight. collector that and something Are you else. Serious? Wait, let me scroll up. I think with a face oh, tattoo. Wait, what? Wait, what? And no a big gold chain? The balance would look Wait, so what? hard. Chat! You did it! You finally did it! No Not for way. long, watch out. Not for long, you're cursing yourself. Let's go! Are you kidding me? Oh my god! We got them all out. They're all- they have all been banned. No way! Oh, oh no. Yes. Oh, oh. Just dunked him. How hot is that? Imagine he didn't go 0-7 to begin the game. No, they're all mid. Never mind. I'm good. Go, go, go. Tell, tell, tell. Mm, I think he's just insta-dead. Fine. They get the ultimate. Gets a lot more lethality. And I can't remember what the mathematically correct set build was. It, all I knew is it one shot with W. 
And I'm surprised Balas is not doing it. He just does his own little spins on things, I suppose. Which is sometimes better, and then arguably a lot of the times worse. Echo dies. He's dead. Set. We have TP. Ezreal used E. Is he going to TP? Where's the TP? Where's the TP? Where's the TP? Oh my lord, it's a deep TP. They have full vision of it. Yeah, I don't know. I think he's just going to go for the tower. I didn't know if I were to go on him or He got the kill, but he didn't get the tower. What do you guys think is better? The tower or the kill? I think the tower is probably better. Tower and kill is best. Believe it or not. I'm pretty smart like that. Will you ask Mibis to shave his stupid haircut as an apology for leaking your rank 1 account? Yeah, I already told Midbeast. We, um... Me and Midbeast had to talk about it. We have talked about it. Um... He's coming to Europe in a bit. We're gonna... Um, we're gonna settle it then. Like oh, God. I'm scared. I'm scared. What do I look like without hair? I don't think I look too bad, I'm not gonna lie. We'll see. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Will my third wife leave me when I turn ball? Triple kill? Maybe. Whatever you do, balls, don't try the AP set build away. <laughs> Huge ult. Massive E. Gets the W. Game winning play right there from the big man. D man. D man. I love it. I love it. I love it. Time to run, buddy. I'm coming. He seems like a like a satisfying champion to play. I, have to stay here. I think stay just in case. I don't reckon they can contest though. You got a Heimer. I can keep yeah. pushing, I guess. Could have recalled. I look to one shot the uh, Jace. I am 16 full lethality set, so one shotting shouldn't be a problem. Oh no, Syndra! You did not need to die there. But Baus does have an interesting angle. I think tower for sure is worth more. He like three shots it. Surely if he went like the tank hull breaker build, he'd have a lot more fun split pushing. He might flash. Oh, do you see how he used that cannon minion there? Instantly swaps to get the thresh. Now he's on a W. Flash auto wow. smashes. That Jace down under the ground. It doesn't matter how far he ahead that Jace got. Who's next then? Balsy late game was always going to one tap him. Gave him the Rey Mysterio. Oh, demon performance, I'm telling you. I remember when I was seven, I told my cousin who was like nine that WWE was fake, and he got so angry that he power slammed me and did the. Did the he grabbed my neck and slammed me on the ground from behind and called it something, and I f almost broke my neck. True story. Ooh, lucky. Oh, that was close. <laughs> he has 3.7 thousand gold hell? here. Fuck. Does he play with a little blankie on to keep him warm? Fuck. Oh, it must be getting cold over there in Sweden. That's cute. Anyways. Collector has been purchased. Look at the blankie. Look at it. Oh, must be real comfy.
What's up next? Are we going for Prowlers? Are we going for... Thinking, What's the build? Um, one tanky item, Hullbreaker. Spear Shijin. Lethality angle. I mean, that's not Lethality. Eclipse, maybe, yeah. Eclipse Umbral, you can buy it. Eclipse. Lethality. Monster damage. Elector. I TP. I'm gonna end the game. Or is this end? You tell me, bro. I'm watching. No. Nope. Bad idea. He TPs in with this four members up and is like, am I just gonna end here? But he's not. He doesn't have armor. <laughs> can one shot anyone, I guess. Yeah. Oh, oh, yep. E auto. Oh, forces the flash out of the Jace. I don't think you need to rush anything here. Wait for the Heimer to get in and just put his turrets up. Alt. W. It's an int. I'm sorry. It's an int, but I think it's going to work out. Oh, no. I think he's inted. Oh, that's a good stoppy. Jace goes down. Play slow, play slow, play slow. Echo goes in. Echo goes out. Ezreal, gonna die to the Heimer Burns. Heimer, get him. Pew, how can you miss that rocket? He dies, minions. GG. Common bows W, GG. Common bows W, GG, gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a brilliant day. Um, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Give me some suggestions down below for what it should be. I got a couple of videos getting cooked up at the moment. Um, but I'm always open to new ideas, new things, new players, new people. But as always, I love you guys. Thanks for supporting the channel. I do appreciate it. I love making these videos. I love League of Legends sometimes, mainly when I'm watching and not playing. Um, and yeah, thank you to Baus for the content, as always. And the new, innovative, smart 2000 IQ builds that are definitely going to ruin solo queue for the next two months. Without further ado, Mid Beast out. Good night.